Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to talk about why you may need a terms and agreement, terms and conditions form before you bring someone on. A terms and conditions form allows the guest to read and understand a checklist or any information that they must agree to before they come on the show. Why may you need this form? You may need this form because you may have a guest that is not very heavenly and it may feel like they are pinching you in the bottom or poking you in the eye. So I'm going to kind of explain a few scenarios that I've already gone through. For the people that may not know, I have a podcast that is called Gentle Touch. It has over 160 episodes. So you will know when you need a terms and agreement, but if you're taking podcasting serious, if it's something that you enjoy, if it's something that you're like, I'm in it for the long run, you definitely need this. There may be various reasons where, why you may need one. Like the most important reason for me to have a terms and agreement form for each guest that comes on the show and for them to read it, understand it, ask questions and sign it. Even though the aim is to record and to post, I am in under no obligation made to post the episode. This could be for various reasons. I'm going to talk about a few things that I have gone through, a few different case studies. I remember one time, I had a guest and the, the, the thing is with podcasting is there is a lot of gatekeepers. If you want to bring someone on the show, you will be talking to managers, you'll be talking to agents, you'll be talking to virtual assistants, PAs, you name. You may not feel the energy of the individual until you're recording. And then I feel like it's really, really beautiful when you have that interaction with someone beforehand because you kind of get a gist of their flow, their energy. So I had one guest, she had 300k followers on Instagram, but she was so obnoxious, she was so arrogant. Everything I said, she reset it and reframed it and went against it. It was so awkward that I ended the episode early and it just didn't even flow. And the thing is with her, she already had her podcast. So I had seen various episodes and they flowed so well, like she was a natural. And then that's okay. It's okay. Like you're not going to be for everyone. Not everyone's going to be for you. And sometimes you may not connect with everyone on an energetic basis. And that's okay. So say, for example, with that case, I didn't post it at all. A second case I had was an individual and... I feel so shy saying this. He had a runny nose. He had a runny nose the whole time. And it's like, I'm speaking to him. And like, he, instead of just blowing his nose, he just kept like, you know, when you breathe in and it's like, you have a runny nose, but instead of nose, you're just like out here, just, I don't know. I edited half of the podcast and then I was just like, I can't do this. Like, I'd rather pull out my eyelashes because this is just insane. Another thing with him was that I invited him to talk about a particular subject. He agreed to it. And when it came down to it, he talked around the subject and not on the subject. What am I going to do with this? So it's like me, let me give you an example. It's like me saying we're going to talk about menstrual cycles, periods. But you tell me how it is to be a girl. Which is kind of related, but it's not the subject. Mm, I can't. What am I going to work with? Um, I had another case where I did the first recording and the guest told me that they couldn't do the all of the recording. That they could only do half an hour. So in the end, I did 20 minutes. And then we were meant to record the second part the following day. They had me wait for half an hour. And then I kind of like explained that. They demanded I post the episode and they demanded that I post it. And I was like, if it's not the full episode, I'm not mm -hmm. posting it because I need episodes to be between 45 minutes and an hour. They just didn't really understand my point of view. And they were like demanding I post it. And I was just like, no, I feel like if you have a terms and agreement, you, you're not going to deal with dilemmas, with dramas, with inconveniences, mutual understanding for you, for both of you, right? Other reasons you may have one is, say for example, if guests cancel less than 24 hours before, do you want to reschedule? If they cancel on the day, would you reschedule them? Like, how does that work with your boundaries? How does that work with your work schedule? Another one is if they are late. If they are late, how much are you willing to wait or how? So say, for example, my episodes last between 45 minutes and an hour. So I can potentially wait 15 minutes no longer because then it's going to cut 
into the episode because if we start 15 minutes late at least i could get a recording of 45 minutes obviously when it comes to if they're late or if they cancel on the day for me the most important one is just knowing that if you come on it's not an obligation for me to release it i would love to release every epi every episode because obviously it's time work and dedication that goes on by the time i build rapport by the time i do the outline by the time we schedule by the time we record by the time we edit time is invested into the podcast and it's a lengthy process sometimes we don't connect energetically spiritually call it whatever you want to call it and that's okay and also when it comes to like whether people cancel on the day or less than 24 hours i'm a little bit more lenient only because i've had cases where i've had um on two different occasions i've had five podcast recordings and i've had to cancel on the day unfortunately i i remember i was in colombia i was in my granny's village i had five podcast recordings and i went to record and the internet froze like the internet couldn't handle it like it, it the lag it just froze i could feel myself sweating because i had five back-to-back -back recordings it's embarrassing like it's embarrassing to let people down obviously the noise noise is a big factor in podcasting like if you have noise if you have any distractions if you have any obstacles like it's just really going to affect the results because i have had those two cases instances that i've been unable to carry out my recordings i'm more lenient like i'm more understanding but for me the most important one for me in my terms of agreement like i've said is even though it's expected and we are both dedicating our time i'm not obliged to post it and there could be various reasons why you can't maybe there's noise maybe you energetically feel like you didn't connect it didn't go the way you wanted um it took a wrong turn the recordings weren't saved on this on the server there's so many reasons as to why a recording doesn't make the live show and that's okay it's just covering your back so in the end you don't get you don't get harassment okay in the most sweetest way possible it's th it's just so that you don't get harassment and it saves you a lot of time and energy i hope this episode was useful i hope i hope this video was useful and it helped you in any kind of way if you have any questions please do let me know so just take what can help you and what doesn't just Take it with a pinch of salt, guys. Your girl loves you. Bye.